The Coakley Middle School construction update moves inside this month. Let's take a look at the progress made. Well, we are here for our first of the new year in 2024 updates on the Coakley Middle School uh, construction. Uh, it's January 4th as we, as we uh, shoot this, and I'm with Bethany King from WT Rich. And what's been going on since the last time we were here? So uh, since last time we had our topping off ceremony that you guys were here to film as well. Um, so steel is finishing up now with what they call detailing, but they're pretty much done now with zone A. Um, we've also poured a couple of floor slabs so that when the concrete actually goes on the steel decking um, that's there. And then you can also see there's some wood blocking around the perimeter. So the, we have some carpenters here starting to do all that work. Uh, we got the MEP trades laying out. We got, we got a lot of people here these days. So there's a lot going on both up and down. Yep, up, exactly everywhere in each zone as well. So, uh, the, the, you know, it's kind of a funny thing because when you start a project, you start from the ground and you move up. Yep. But once we put the roof on, it's going to be the opposite? Yeah, so we've been, we go ground up and then we typically pour the slabs down. Um, it varies project to project, but in general, you want to get that roof on so your building becomes tight and you're not letting water in the building. So once your roof is on, you can start working down. So the project plan here is mainly to work from C to B to A, which is east to west, and then four, four down. And just, just remind us, which one is C to B to A? What C, tell me what one is which. C is the one closest to where we're standing here, which includes your gym, and then A is on the opposite side of the building, and it's basically split into thirds. And where's the auditorium? The auditorium's in A. Okay. It, 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 it's on the edge of A. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, you said something about um, the steel detailing. What, what, is, what does that mean? Basically, when they put the steel up, they just put the steel pieces up, but then they have to come in and, and finish all the welding. And, and, and so the steel can be up and erected, but then they have the iron workers come back and they what's called detailing, which is really finishing all of the connection points. And when they do that, they also put on the decking. And then once they're done, they turn the whole area over to us. So for, for while they're still doing that work, it's under the iron workers control. And then when they turn it over to us, we can we put some railings up and then we can have access to the deck. Okay, and what again is I, the, you say the carpenters are up there doing the wood for the edges of the, like, what is that? What's that gonna be when it's done? So when you, you can see right now the edge of the area that's not wrapped, if the camera can show this later, is is the edge of the gym. And you can see the wood on the top. Eventually that gets that gets wrapped with some waterproofing and then some metal panel, which is a thin piece of metal, and that becomes kind of an edge detail around the top of your building. And then you have various metal panels and fiber cement and, and windows and brick and the whole thing that makes your whole enclosure. So a lot's been done but a whole bunch still has to be coming. Oh, we got a, we still got a lot to do for sure and a lot of different trades coming. We These days we have about 50 people on site, but it's gonna do nothing but ramp up from here. All right, I know you have to run to a meeting, so we'll be back with Luke Apone from um, Vertex. Oh, Vertex, thank you. I almost <laughs> wanted to say the old company name. Us from Vertex and thanks for being with us and we'll be right back with Luke. As promised, we're with Luke Apone from Vertex, and he's gonna tell us what we can look forward to in the next month or so. Sure, so as Bethany mentioned, we've started to pour the concrete slabs in area C. We have the, the roof slab and the ground floor slab left to do in that area of the building. We're targeting completing those by the end of, end of January, and then we'll head into area B and eventually area A. Um, as concrete continues through B and A, the miscellaneous metal subcontractor is scheduled to mobilize to the site and begins installing the staircases. Uh, he's gonna install staircase number two to begin with. That's the stair by the auditorium, which will go all the way up to the roof. And the uh, mason is also scheduled to mobilize to the site in the next few weeks to begin uh, to build the elevator shafts out of the CMU block. And then the fireproofer is the next trade in which will start to spray on the spray fireproofing on the steer, steel <coughs> beams and columns in starting in area C as well. And what's the, what's the wrap that's around? So this, this plastic tarp wrap we have here is just to keep heat in the building. We have some temporary heat sources to 
allow the steel to warm up to receive the concrete as well as the fireproofing material. Based on those products, they have to be installed uh, at certain temperatures. Now, in the old days, you probably wouldn't be pouring cement in this heat. Yeah. It's a different formula of the cement, right? It is, yeah. In the old days, you'd work your schedule around it to avoid it. And now, with these projects, the schedule is so tight and so aggressive, we've come up with other ways to get heat in and keep this project going during the winter. Sounds good. Anything else? No, that's about it. All right. Well, thanks once again. Thanks, Jack. Happy New Year. And thank you. Same to you. And uh, we'll be right back with more Digest.